Hi, today I have a short video for you about uh, cutting openings in uh, 3D shells in Stia Engineer. My name is Ivan Belesh and I am support engineer for Stia Engineer and Idea Statica. Now we are in Stia Engineer and I have prepared a small example. And what we will do, I will try to cut some rectangular opening in this uh, shell and uh, one uh, tube which is going uh, through this uh, wall and this tube will for example go half meter outside of the of this uh, of this shell and will cut this hole in it and also this one will be cut it out so I don't start uh, from scratch, I have prepared already this model to save the time. So what we need to create some openings uh, in a, in a uh, flat plates, it's very easy. You simply draw an opening, but uh, in a 3D shell it's not so uh, simple possible. We have, we need uh, two shells or some some balls and something else which uh, creates some intersection and if this intersection is a closed line then we will remove we can remove it from our uh, 3d shell so i need something which will create these uh, intersection lines so usually i do it with uh, with walls so so first i start with a plate so uh, we will change this workstation to structure to make it a little bit simpler and uh, then I will create a plate. So, but my coordinate system is here. So I need it, uh, for example, in the middle of this uh, of this cylinder. So I will move my uh, coordinate system to this point and make it vertical, perpendicular to the y-axis. So, per align z to y-axis. Okay. So I will later move it uh, to the top and uh, now what can we do usually i create a plate and on this plate a wall but uh, we can try directly with with a wall create a wall uh, it's from steel 20 millimeter thickness it doesn't matter and one met one meter is the height so and i will create it like a circle from this point in this direction for example 0 0.5 meter okay escape uh, i am not sure if this is really half meter from here to here okay it's half meter now i can move it so i look from this side on it and i will move it where is it move it from here in this direction for example 2.5 meter okay a little bit more continue 0 0.5 meter okay look from this side uh, I, it should cut through it so i select it again and move it again from this point in this direction i don't know one meter 1.5 meter okay that's enough so uh, i will prepare also the another walls in uh, in this in this uh, arc so first I go to global coordinate system. Where is it? Where is global coordinate system? Move, move, move. Reset to global, okay? And um, now I need walls. Uh, usually if I create walls, I use small trick. Uh, I create first a plate, a rectangular plate, for example, from this point and a relative one meter in X and Y meter in Y direction, okay? can be moved a little bit so in this direction okay and then i have this wall i can move it in the z direction here from here i don't know one meter works out oh, that was too much move from this point 0 0.5 okay and now i can create walls because if you go to the walls 
sometimes I look for the cursors because I have everything on this process bar already placed. So, and uh, it will be one meter uh, high. And I go to select lines and select these lines and create both on this on this line. So, okay, it goes through. That's okay. No. Um, we need an intersection lines and there are two ways how to create them one is manually you have to um, start a command and this is this command intersection you know you can write this command so and the first one what is there in please select any slab as a master okay this is the master and i will create an intersection in this right mouse button or escape. Mm -hmm. I have escape on my mouse, so not necessary to click. So this is the one way. Um, um, I don't know if so you have to click a lot if you have more, more of them. But there is also another function in modify. There is a connect members and nodes. And uh, you can do it for you full structure if you click on yes, as my German Windows, sorry. Or you can go to No, and then you select the objects from which you want to calculate the intersections. So, uh, oh, sorry, again, uh, connect members. No, this one. Okay, right mouse button. Okay, escape, and okay. And now they are calculated. So there are two ways. You can do it for your full structure if you want. Mm -hmm. Because this is an intersection. It should work also. It, 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 it's an intersection in both of them. So and now I want to remove. What I want to remove? I want to remove from the wall this part. I, I also want to remove this inner part of this of the horizontal tube. And for this, we have these cutouts. If you want to calculate or remove these cutouts, you have to select the 2D members, this one and this one, right mouse button, or escape better. Usually use right mouse button. So, and then I want to remove this inner part, mm -hmm. you see it, and also this inner part, right, uh, escape. So, and it's done. So we can look at it, mm -hmm. and it's, you see, it's, it's removed. Mm -hmm. Better from this side. Okay. So this is done. And uh, on the same way, we can do it on this side. But on this side, I will remove all these walls. I want to have only the opening. Cutouts. Select the members. Uh, there's no... Okay. Ah, this is this. This is the plate. Okay. <laughs> not, not an issue. So, and from them, I will remove this inner part of the arc. And from the walls, I remove everything. So the top side and also the bottom side of these walls. They will be removed and escape. And this one we don't need. I can remove it. So that's all. I have a cheat sheet there. So <laughs> what I have to do. So selection, OK. Uh, yes, um, disconnect. Mm. I should do it before, but it's not, not an issue. I go back. Okay. Uh, there are, there are these, uh, uh, these intersection lines. If you want to remove them, then you have two possibilities. Uh, you can select the parts and go to modify and disconnect member nodes. They will be removed. Another way, which a customer told me years ago, all these uh, internal edges have the same name. This is ES and then a number. So you can click on space and write cell for select and ES star. And then all these intersection lines will be selected. You can remove it very easily. So. Uh, okay, then we can go back, uh, redo, and again, redo, and again, redo. Okay, now we have everything. I will delete this plate because we don't need it. So 
then everything is there. Uh, so, sorry. Um, the sometimes you will need some nice pictures, but you see there are these uh, hidden lines uh, from the intersection, from the cutouts. Right mouse button, then you can go to view settings and in the structure menu, you see these uh, cutouts. You can deactivate it, mm -hmm. then they are not visible. And if you have them, you can remove these 2D members, the streamed 2D members. So, so this can be both deactivated or activated. So you can play it with it. Okay. And if you also don't need this uh, structural nodes, you need really a nice picture from your structure, you can deactivate also the structure nodes. So if you don't uh, see these uh, labels, then you can activate them here. And uh, there are also these intersection lines. Uh, they are in model in internal edges. Apply. OK. And if we go to shell, then we see very clean structure. Uh, maybe if you work with the default settings, then uh, this polygon is uh, sometimes very rough etched. And this is defined in views in, uh, I think, advanced settings. Or is, is there? I have to wait. No. Views. Advanced graphic settings. No, it was not. It's about its graphic setting. Gra graphic setting. Geometry graphic settings is there. And here is this shell precision of surface. So you can reduce the angle to 5. For example, then it's much smoother. <laughs> and there is also, you can repeat the command, there is also this overall display quality factor. You can increase it also, play with it. But with this angle, it works uh, very well. So uh, I hope you have learned something. So it was a short video. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.